we have a linear expression and four st statements referring to it. If we plot this statement, assuming that D and E are our axes, we would be able to examine the answers. So let's do it by having two points on the graph. One will be D equals zero, and the second will be E equals zero. If D equals zero, then three times zero equals E minus three, then zero equals E minus three, and E equals three. So we have D zero and E three. This is the first point. Second point is E equals zero. In this case, we have three D equals zero minus three. We divide by three and get D equals minus one. So we have E zero and D minus one. Now we can take uh, this line and plot the graph line. It goes right through here. Now let's examine the options. Answer A says that if D is less than minus one, then E is positive. D less than minus one, this is here, E is positive. But no, we see that E has negative values, therefore this is incorrect. B says that if D is greater than minus three, then E is negative. D greater than minus three e is negative. We see that it is not always negative, it is negative up to D equals minus one, and from thereafter, E gets positive values. Therefore, this is incorrect because it's not entirely correct. C says that if D is greater than minus one, then E is positive. So D greater than minus one, E is positive. This time it is correct because from here on, E always gets positive values. That's on the top hemisphere of the, of the graph. So this is correct. Let's see why D is incorrect. If D is greater than minus three, then E is positive. D greater than minus three, that's actually almost the same as B. It is not always correct. It is sometimes negative and sometimes positive. Therefore, it is incorrect.